Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the question bank set 3. And in the previous video, we have already seen about the question bank set 1 and 2 of module 1. So, this question bank belongs to 21 RMI 56 Research Methodology and Intellectual Property Right, where set 1 and set 2 is the other series of videos. And in this series of video, you are going to see the set 3 question bank with the answer for the module 1. Moving on to the video, first question is, illustrate how plagiarism alerts the researchers about the work done. So we have seen that plagiarism is one of the misconduct type of misconduct in the research that is happening. So how a author or a researcher will be known that he is doing a plagiarism or he is taking plagiarized reports? Yes, so you have four points that you have to remember. The original author, that is the original researcher will come to know when someone informs the particular author, original author, first point. And second point is if you are going to submit your research paper in a particular journal, then there will be a review process that has taken place to ensure that each and every data and facts that you have attached in the research is not plagiarized. So when there is a plagiarism happening, a reviewer may find out and let, you, let the author know in the review process. Third point is the readers who are reading the author, uh, reading the particular article will come to know that the fact or the data included in the research is plagiarized or it has been taken from some other sources. So that is the third thing. And the fourth thing is you once when you are ensuring, when a people are ensuring that there is no research misconduct happening in the research papers submitted to the journals or the research, uh, research work that is carried out, then they may come to know if there is some plagiarism. So you can check your plagiarism using different software to ensure that your complete data is only the work done by the author alone. It is not plagiarized. So that report tells you how much data is being plagiarized, how much is not plagiarized. Yes. So moving on to the second question, describe the different ethical issues related to authorship. Yes. So in the last series of video, we have seen about the ethical perspective that has to be maintained in a research. In this, you have to know that what are all the ethical issues that is related to an authorship. So one thing we have to remember is when you are doing a scholarly work, research work, the priority will be given to the people or the author who are really putting on the work into it. The reputation has to be given, the responsibility of the work, responsibility of the people who have done the content must be given the priority. So for whom the credit for research contribution will be given is in three ways. One is by authorship. So if there are five authors in a particular paper, then the first author is the one who has really discovered about the technology. The second author is the one who has helped the first author in one or the other way. The third author will have some role that he or she has played in the research work. So each and every author has their own role that has been played and placed particularly in the required position. And citation. Citation is nothing but once after the research work is published in a reputed journal, we have to ensure that that particular paper is cited by some other people when they are using the research of similar topics. So citation is much important. And through a return acknowledgement. So there are some, uh, some research that has been done that with return acknowledgement, they'll be giving you that the particular author belonging to first position has done this roles and responsibilities and they have given this input to the research work done. So these are the three things that you have to remember by authorship, citation and written acknowledgement. The ethical issues uh, related to the authorship can be maintained. Moving on to the next related case study on how falsification is done in the process of the research. 
Yes. So imagine like a person doing a research to submit the article into a journal. So uh, the case study must be whether the falsification of data is done in facts or you have to explain how the falsification is done, uh, done in an image. Even though when you're cutting and copy pasting the image, that is also a falsification done, done in the research work. So uh, we have to know how falsification is done in facts and also images. So you can, uh, you can assume a case study and you can explain. Relate a case study on how fabrication is done in the process of research. Yes, you can imagine a person doing some researches on particular topic to submit to a reputed journal. So we have to ensure that particular research, the image or facts taken in that journal or that technology is never fabricated from the existing technology. So you have to give the justification for that. So hope you have understood that. So now here the, your module one question bank gets over. In the next series of video, we'll be seeing about the module two that is dealing with your literature review and technical reading attributions and citations. So these are the uh, second module contents and the question bank related to this module will be discussed in the next series of video. Please be stay tuned for more information. Thank you.